so I've done a bit of research on you. Oh, is it? Yeah, a little bit. Small, 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 small. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen that you've got some future telling gifts. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, let's start from the beginning. When, how did you get into that? Well, it kind of started when I was four or five. I got visions and then I usually drew them and gave the drawings to my mother. Uh, but that escalated quickly, so I kind of shut that door because she got really pissed off if I, you know, drew something that kind of was a prediction, not me even knowing what it was. Um, so, yeah, uh, one prediction was uh, her uncle uh, dying, so I have draw like I drew a tombstone uh, with his name on it and wrote like rest in peace. And yeah, after that, I kind of just tried to shut everything down. So obviously I don't want to be insensitive, but did that come, was, was that picture come to pass? Was it, was there any? Yeah, he passed away. I think it was maximum one or two weeks after that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So four or five, you started seeing things and rang them down and showing them to mum and she shut it down, yeah? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um, is that when it first started happening, yeah, four or five? That's the first event that I can remember, like, really okay. clearly, yeah. Um, can you give us another story of something that you might have, you know, written down that? Um, it is more like me having some trouble with my friends mm -hmm. and they got scared of me because I could literally just sit besides them and then it, they could think about something and then I responded out loud. So I said whatever they was thinking because I heard it. You heard it? Mm. Okay, can, can you explain that more for me? It's almost like I hear their voice inside of my head and then I just, you know. Okay, yeah. interesting. And obviously you said you stopped it around about when you was four or five. When did you, would you say you started paying attention to that more? Uh, after I lost my best friend when I was um, 17, he passed away from an overdose and uh, I just felt this presence from him and then I was like, I need to research this a little bit more and uh, some of my family also were into tarot readings and, you know, that spiritual side of, of uh, things. So, yeah, I started doing tarot readings myself. Okay, um, and can you explain for the audience who may not know what, is it tar tarot reading, right? Yeah. Can you explain to the audience who may not know what that is? It's literally cards um, that is like future or past, present, telling the person that you are reading, tuning into their energy, what is going on, what's going to happen and what has happened. So I use that as a tool, the, the gift, no, the cards. Um, <clears throat> with my gifts to tell the person, yeah, what's going to happen and, uh, yeah. Okay. What's the, um, what's the wildest thing you've ever predicted in your career with doing the tarot readings that you essentially had to tell someone? Mm. The most recent one is um, <clears throat> probably I don't want to air somebody's business out because, uh, you know, it is a personal reading. Uh, so I don't want to step on any toes, but... So I'm so sorry, but... Um, <laughs> uh, I kind of predicted that um, this girl's boyfriend was going to prison. So a little bit after the reading has happened, he, you know, got caught by the police. Wow. Yeah. 